right, we have actually been here for, this will be our ninth day. We're leaving tomorrow, which is the 15th of December. Um, so we've been in this room now for, like I said, like nine days. And so we've seen every kind of nook and cranny. This, I normally will call these Karen reviews, but um, I know a lot of people's names are Karen, so we don't want to piss anybody off. So let's go ahead and just say, please ignore the mess. I'm going to show you a run through of the room. If you want to see the room before we lived in it, <laughs> um, the video will be below. It has already been posted. So enjoy that. So this is just going to be my nitpicky review. Just a heads up, nitpicky, okay? This is me. It has nothing to do with the, the staff. This has absolutely nothing to do with the resort. This is just me being nitpicky about things that inconvenience me slightly. Um, and, and I'm not one of those people that are god awful and are like, oh my god, the water doesn't run right. Whatever. Just <laughs> get the fuck over it. Here's the nitpickiness, okay? We'll start with this. Okay, one, I need to cut this on. They just got through cleaning our room. They do come and clean our room, kind of like I said prior, um, anywhere between nine um, and 11. And it normally takes them about 20 minutes. So they do a good thorough wipe down of the room, just a heads up. So if you would like the cleaning lady not to touch your room, keep this red light on. No one will bother you. We have also noticed that when we order room service, there is a bell little ringer on the outside. They will they will press that or they will knock when you do get room service. Room service, like I said before, is 100% included in the room. The upcharge is any um, at top shelf alcohols, but they will make you a cocktail. They will bring you a bottle of wine. Um, just as a heads up, if you and the person that you're with enjoy the same bottle of wine, ask for two glasses of wine. They will bring it to you in like a, what do you call it, an ice bucket. I don't know where that cut me off. I am so sorry. Um, they will, I'll show you the wines, but if you, you and the person that you're with order the same wine, they will bring you a whole bottle. Um, anyway, so these lights, it's a little bit confusing. This again, like I said, nitpicky. Um, go to the inside of the room here, okay? And this little guy turns this light on and off. This, I don't know what the hell it does. I just don't. Alrighty. This little guy does not. This is room 3314. Mm. This little guy does not lock properly okay just a heads up 3314 we we will let the people at the front, the front desk know so maybe they can attend to it this may very well not be the situation if you get this room later on um, sometimes if you do not twist this little knob it does not let the people outside know the clean your room that there is food inside of there so that being said, we did have a couple of days where the food piled up and had to call the front desk and let them know. All right, um, toilet situation. I still don't really 100% understand the whole button thing. Um, so kind of is what it is. This little guy had a trash lid on it at one point. It fell off. Um, and this little light has yet to work. Again, we'll let maintenance know when we leave. These, like I said, there's these are little baby things um, that do not bother me. They've just been a slight inconvenience. All right, so these lights go here, and they also turn on the lights in there. The only thing is, is that, and that actually turns on the light for the shower. Uh, there's no real light night. What do you call it a, a nightlight situation um, for this room so if you're sleeping right here in the bed you're blinded only nitpicky uh, these two things I don't fucking know what it goes to it's just two buttons two random buttons um, here is the soaps of course shower cap and things um, one day they didn't um, refill our rags again nitpicking nitpicking okay um, 
and the towels are glorious. The towels are always glorious, and they do give you these um, sleeper, slippers to put on. Uh, it's a one size, um, I'm assuming maybe it's a size seven or eight US. So uh, if you have big feet, those aren't gonna fit your feet, just a heads up. All right, shower, let me go ahead and cut that light back on. Shower, the shower is wonderful. I really don't have anything negative to say about it. Um, my husband and I, we can, I am 150 pounds, 5'7", he's 220, I believe, and about 5'10". We comfortably fit in this shower. It is great. You can shower together. Um, only thing is, is that when they do come in to clean the room, they will automatically cut this little guy on. So if you have anything here, sitting here, that you do not want to get wet, ensure that you hit that little button, goes off, and it's really, um, I mentioned this in my previous video, this says shampoo, that says shampoo, they say that they have body wash, I don't know, I don't know what I've been washing my hair with, it's been getting it clean, this is not like some really good high quality shampoos and conditioners, if you're one of those people with super dry hair, this is not going to be the stuff for you because me, I'm platinum blonde, I've been dying my hair since I was 13, the shit is damaged. <laughs> So, if you are one of those people with very brittle hair, that shampoo, when brushing your hair, is going to rip it out. And then here are the robes. The robes are great. They never change them out, though. So, if you spill something on it, you may actually need to um, let the lady cleaning the room let her know, okay? Um, so, she can change it out for you. This little guy here sucks. If you're like, if you're one of those women that do their makeup on the floor, there is no um, extra lighting here. That, that's a crawl space, I believe. There is no extra lighting here. So if you are doing your makeup on the floor, you're doing it in the dark. I even tried plugging this in, putting it beside me, the light sucks, end story, <laughs> done. Um, this is one thing that my husband and I are kind of nitpicky about. Um, just because we do, we have done home renovations and things of that nature. This is just shitty work. <laughs> this is something that you're not going to see unless you're someone like me that sits on the ground and does their makeup. There is extra outlets underneath. Again, I have no idea what those do. Nothing. <laughs> you can't pop them out, plug things in. Again, another one. I don't fucking know what it does. And this is just, that's just horrible. <laughs> that hair dryer is great by the way, um, but it is ultra powerful. It is ultra hot. That being said, if, if you have hair like mine, then it will eat the shit out of your hair. Um, all right, so only nitpicky thing about this is that one day wine glasses just were not, um, wine glasses weren't exchanged out in a story. Here is, if you're a rosé drinker like I am, this is what they use on site. Um, if you're a Cabernet drinker, that, that is what they use on site as well. This little guy leaks a lot. Um, it is metal. They do not give you a plastic bag to place into it. In a story, that's pretty much it. It's just condensation, it will leak. Um, they don't replace these out unless you tell them. I had been washing these every single day. Whew, catch my breath. All right, Cafe Santo, Santo Domingo. I've already requested one of these from my husband. I want it, <laughs> but it takes a little while to heat up. Sometimes the little lights just continue to blink. It ate two of our Nespresso cups or whatever these things are. One, if you're not an avid espresso drinker and you just like coffee, they don't have that in the room for you, but they do have a coffee bar downstairs. They do have coffee inside of the restaurants. Um, you, you know, do what you will with that. So, um, this is something that I heard someone bitching about at the pool. Just a heads up. These are the only two, as I've explained in the previous video, these are the only two beers that they have. Um, you are in the Dominican. Get over it. This is it. They don't have 
you know, your brand, they may not have your brand of beer here, but they do have Coors Light, they do have El Presidente, and that tastes kind of like a um, watered down, diluted esque um, Dos Equis. They do carry Coke products, this orange Canada, Canada, Canadian <laughs> dry. They do have Sprite. They do replace your bottle of water every day, and they give you two bottles for your espresso and or hot water for your tea. Okay. This bothered my husband, and I said this in a previous video, this bothered my husband right off. There's a level on the back. This is one of those swivel TVs, but it is crooked as they come. Crooked as they come, so. Just the heads up there, 3314, again, this is not depicted on the hotel by any means. This is just, well, this is us. This is who we are um, for our bedroom. They do have ample plugs every single place, okay? They do. And again, this, this light goes for up here. This one goes for the little ball light. This cuts on the room light. This will give you light for your bed. Master light has been confusing as fuck. Um, and like I said in my previous video, they do a smell each day. You can choose that, you can let them know. Um, one of the negatives, my husband has been sick. Again, has absolutely jack shit to do with this hotel. He did not catch it while he was here. We, I think we caught it in route. Get that little guy open. Um, if you don't know that this pulls out because it doesn't have a handle, I didn't know that they pulled out. I just thought you put your stuff down here. My husband was like, no, this is what it does. Um, it has been cold here. He ran fever for a day or so. I wasn't feeling great last night. Um, these are very thin, very flimsy, just like any other hotel that you go to. You're not going to have lush bedding unless you're sitting your ass in, you know, 30 degree temperatures in Colorado or somewhere. Um... He went down to the front desk last night. He went and they delivered me another blanket, okay? So, if you are cold like I am, this is not everybody. This is, like I said, me being nitpicky. If you're cold like I am at night, they will give you another blanket. There's not one stashed away in your room like some hotels. This bed, we are, I believe we used one of those companies where, you know, they deliver your bed to you and it's foam. Well, we have one of those mattresses, and we also had a pillow top mattress as well when we first got married. We are used to very soft beds. If you have any type of back issues, this is not very, not pillow top. It, it kind of has a pit, like a pillowy top, but it's not like a lush pillow top. Um, if you have any issues with your back, it will hurt on this bed. That's the only thing that I'm like, Besides getting back to my animals, that is the one thing about this hotel that has irked me because I'm just not sleeping good. That's it. So, so that being said, you got a bad back, it's going to hurt it. Um, pillows are amazing. I'm very, very much about the soft pillow. One of the one positives about this room is that you do get a little card once you check in and you can choose what type of pillow you want that's in my previous video check that out um, they give you a whole pillow menu and we'll deliver it to your room all right wi-fi i don't believe i mentioned this in my previous video wi-fi has been hit or miss there was a massive corporate business group that came in the other day i noticed that the wi-fi kind of um then again I, I uploaded a 30 minute video we live in the country as people um, here. So we understand Wi-Fi gets slow. We're not one of those people that are, you know, live in big cities and have ultimate cell phone towers and shit. We understand shit gets slow, okay? Um, also, if you have AT&T um, and are not on some special international plan, you're gonna get charged. We, as soon as we landed, it said, it said, hey girl, <laughs> we can charge you 10 minutes a day or such and such per minute. So please 
before coming, if you're ignorant like I am, we've always gone to Mexico and we have always had it cover an international plan and we only to realize AT&T does not cover the Dominican Republic. So if you have AT&T like us, heads up. This door gets a little stuck. All right, one thing, if this door is open, your thermostat will no longer work. I, it's something that I wish all houses had, you know? If you had one of those dads that said, stop air conditioning in the neighborhood. All right, I'm trying to wrap this up because my battery's getting low. Uh, this lamp has not worked. <laughs> um, and this is a censored light here. So come nighttime, it will automatically switch on for you. Um, and these are blackout curtains which are a positive, so you do not have to see the light as it's on at night. Um, again, this is something we're gonna bring up to maintenance. This little guy, you push it in, it doesn't come out, it sucks. Um, and the jets are overly calcified, as is this. So you can cut this bad boy on, it will automatically hit that window. Don't use this, 3314, okay? Unless they come out here and decalcify this. It's, it's awful. Um, we've been using this. You have to pick it up. You have to place it into the tub. Jets do not work in 3314. So if you're gonna book this tomorrow and you you end up here and you get a sign 3314 and the jets do not work, let them know again, okay? Um, this bed. The stains came with it. I have yet to see these, these stains be removed. So, but, oh my God, you're at a beach, your feet are gonna get dirty, okay? Um, these chairs are great. I have had coffee out here every morning. This is my view when I have coffee every day. But <laughs> here's the negative. Look at this trash, look at the rocks. Our hotel cannot do anything about this, I understand, but I wish there would have been some sort of a heads up. And this guy, you don't want to freaking look at that every day. That is so ugly. This is not what I consider a garden view. So that being said, come on now. Beautiful view of the ocean. Shitty ass area that has not been built on yet. Okay. Um, and then we also have the, the view here for the people below us. So don't be nosy if you're on the top floor. Also, this little little walkway, and I'll try and get video of this tonight, of the amount of traffic that comes through. The amount of traffic is pretty heavy in the morning as they take things from the main building and go to, to the beach. So there's a lot of uh, foot traffic. Just for the people that work here, I have very rarely seen anyone that is staying at the hotel come down the sidewalk. If you're on the bottom floor, I'm pretty certain that you will have a tropical view. If you are on the top floor, you will not. <laughs> um, you will have a view of that. <laughs> um, but the foot traffic at night is pretty bad. If you, if you can see the little thatched building over here, um, that is where they do their partying. And that light just continues to, to, to go, okay? Um, so if you are sensitive to any type of flashing light, 3314, not for you. Um, also, if you're gonna be butt ass naked, and this is just a heads up for anybody, honestly, um, if I'm standing right here and I am down to my skivvies, the people below you can see you, they wave. All right, look, if you're one of those people that are just not wanting to show off the boobies, ensure that even coming through this door, they will see you, okay? Um, just a heads up if you get into this. Um, also, this is not chlorine water. This is like a regular bathtub, regular hot tub that you would have inside of your home, okay? This is not, by any means, has chlorine in it. So you can put the bath salts in it. We brought our own, and they also give you bath salts as well um, with the room, but they never replenish them. So if that happens, you do have to ask, okay? Um, there are, last but not least, these are the beautiful towels. They're about six feet long. They're lush, they're terry cloth, they fold great. Um, you, 
they do if they get wet or dirty and you put them into the pile for the maid to pick up um sometimes we didn't get them back <laughs> okay didn't get them back at all so and but today looks like we have two more towels all right i think this is the bulk of the nitpicking room tour so great room great resort um look for black coffee no this is no, for real his name is black coffee he is down at near miraflores at the main pool that man has been wonderful join in on the games do some exercises play bingo we got this wine right here so go and use some bottles of wine enjoy your vacation i'm just letting you know what has bothered me slightly in room 3314 okay so you guys enjoy please like share subscribe i'm gonna post more videos on the restaurants i'll post more picture videos um enjoy your vacation uh we have not been contacted not one time regarding a timeshare we have been contacted regarding um outside excursions by people passing by just say no thank you if you're on the beach and someone tries to sell you something say no thank you and move on with your life don't be one of those assholes that are like this is awful i can't believe they they want us to buy a timeshare this is their job no one comes into your place of business where you work every day and complain about you. So just understand you're in another country and enjoy, enjoy your vacation. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna be extra nice, it's my 40th, this is why we're here. Wish me a happy birthday. All right, see y'all later, bye.